it, it might be us, like, not just me and you, but, like, everybody else hyping it up and thinking it's going to be something that it's not. But even PlayStation have came out since and said, oh, yeah, well, no, we held a lot back. Like, why then? What's your reason behind holding well, I, these things back? I just, I just think it's pure cope. I think that's them just trying to downplay it and just like say, oh, well, yeah, there's more come later. And it's just like, why would you want like the, the ne negative like attitude around your company? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, do it doesn't make business sense to be like, oh, we're holding back good shit. It just sounds like they don't have good shit. And that's what they've yeah. said. Like as a result of it, obviously they've come out and they've said, it's caused them, the backlash, I guess, has caused them to announce, obviously, um, the Last of Us multiplayer game being scaled back. And, Yay. And, like, basically get having less resources on it than initially planned. I think because they basically looked at um, the business model for, like, um, what, what, what do you call them, like, games as a service. They've, like, looked at that and seen, now that there's more examples than ever, seen, like, how hard it is to maintain and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I like the Last of Us multiplayer. You know what I mean? On the PS3, like, it was fun. Well, it was fun for, like... It, I, I would say, honestly, I, I would say it's better than the Uncharted multiplayer. But I feel about... I feel the same towards it as the Uncharted multiplayer. It's, like, it's a tacked-on multiplayer that, yes, there will be hardcore fans, but the majority of your casuals aren't going to play it more than a week. Well, that, that, that's 100% you know me. I, mean? like, I love the Last of Us games, but even when the multiplayer was out, I, I never, I never played it. I, I think I played it once at your house, and I was like, "Yeah, that, that's my fill of that. I don't need any more." Of I this think now. I played more Uncharted Four. Was it Uncharted Four, yeah, Uncharted Four's multiplayer. I played more of that, um, than The Last of Us because it was more fast paced and fun and like swinging about, and that's just preference. But I felt like that was, yeah. and like I'm not, I'm not going to call myself a casual, but I would say that's more casual friendly. I would say, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Then so, so like. To try and make this as a standalone game, and that's and that's a, someone I only I only recently completed Last of Us Part Two. I completed it like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I hadn't played it for. I don't know why. When I first like, I, I loved the first game. I bought it on um, PS3. I bought it on PS4. Um, I replayed the. You bought it on PS5, and we came sharing it. But I played the replayed the remaster again, and I, but I probably played the the full game start to finish about five or six times, and I've watched Lottie played all the way through as well, and I yeah. love that game. And then the sequel, I, p I played with it a little bit and it just didn't gel with us out the gate. And I think it was just like, you know, sometimes when they're just fatigued on a, a certain amount of game style and stuff, I just wasn't in the mood for it. Then I watched, I haven't watched the full season. I just watched the first episode of The Last of Us TV series. Right. And I was like, ah, oh. and like, I, because it was free on YouTube and I don't have Sky Television, which is like one of the only ways, I think you can rent it now, but prior to that, it was like the only way to say in the UK was Sky TV or Now TV. Um, and I watched that episode and I was like, oh, I, I, I love The Last of Us. I, forgot how I was like, I'll go and play two. So I went and played two and I loved it. It was great. I don't think it was a perfect game by any measure. But yeah. I personally found the shooting like really frustrating. And I'm like a shooter guy and I'm really good at shooters. And I had to, I, I fiddled with the settings and I fixed it and I made it like what I would consider perfect where I like turned off all the shit that makes your screen shake unnecessarily. And then yeah, I had a I great time stuff. with the game and I think that might have been one of the reasons I fell out of it the first time around. I don't think it bothered us on like the PS3 generation because I wasn't as hardcore of a gamer at that time. A uh, hardcore yeah. as a shooter player, you know, I like I didn't play on a monitor and stuff like that back then. I would just play on my telly and things like that. And like 30 frames a second versus 60, I wouldn't notice it. Whereas now if a game's like sub 60, I'm like, this feels garbage. <laughs> yeah, it feels weird. <laughs> do you yeah. know what I mean? But do you think like the multiplayer game would last? Do you think it would work? Do you think it has the legs? I mean, it depends on what it is because, I mean, is it just exactly what it was for the last of us one or is it a, is it a battle royale style or is it like an always online i, I don't probably be an extraction shooter won't it It'll be yeah. an, everything's a fucking extraction shooter well that's it yeah everything is now but i i don't know what it is i genuinely yeah. haven't a clue so i i can't really say I'm, i mean i know i'm not hyped for it yeah. but unless unless i saw something like what's that that game that's never coming out the day before yeah if i saw a trailer and it was the last of us then i would be hyped yeah like in that kind of style like the um what you call it the the clickers and all that what in the world and you could play with your mates and there was other people that would be cool as shit i'd really like that but if it's just a multiplayer like 
deathmatch team deathmatch mode. So I'm not not bothered. It's it's not so it's that's not for it me was. anymore. That's what it was. It was it, the like obviously the original was just a team deathmatch essentially, and then mm-hmm. you had like a weird midi midi mini game in between rounds <laughs> where you kind of like looked after survivors, and like they could die and get infected and stuff like that, and it was like a kind of micromanagement sim, and it would like the resources that you got from like the match would play into this mini game, and I just I didn't right. care about the mini game side of it at all. And I, I barely interacted with it at all, but otherwise it was essentially just a team deathmatch. And you also think, yeah, like, isn't that, like, the weakest part of Last of Us? Because it's, like, a zombie game. So the yeah. mode wasn't about zombies, really. Yeah. I mean, it was just... Well, that, that's it. I mean, like, if it was, like, the um, like a DayZ style... Like, light on survival, though. Do you know what? I don't want to yeah. be drinking water and eating food every 30 seconds. Yeah. But if it's just, like, a cool game where you can go and explore and you can uh, kill, like, the... um, What are they called in that? Are they just called zombies? Not just zombies, and then yeah, like the, the ghost, infected ghost, all, like yeah. Infected, yeah, yeah. Um, then then that that would be cool because it, it would be cool to wander around that universe as your own character and 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 interact with people like me and you and and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hyped. <laughs>